Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. The Gold Palomino Tennessee Walker has to have one of the prettiest coats in Red Dead Redemption 2. And today we're going to use him to go get the warped Brindle Arabian, whose coat is best described as an acquired taste. But as long as we're in the neighborhood, we might as well pick up a treasure map and learn how to craft dynamite arrows. Yep. This pile of rocks is the location for Jack Hall 2. You need to talk to Maximo and get the first Jack Hall map to get this one. Here's the map between the O and the R of Cortora Springs. Also the location of the legendary wolf and also random wolves, so watch out. Moving on. Okay, fella. Under a bridge on the edge of the Wapiti Indian Reservation is a loot box with the dynamite arrow recipe, some guarma rum, and a large jewelry bag. Learn the recipe immediately. I love dynamite arrows. They're very handy. And here is your location west of the trail heading into the res. And here is where we'll look for the warped brindle north of the R in Amberino, above the space between Wapiti and Indian. This is the approximate location. It's very difficult terrain, and I've never been able to sneak up on this horse. He just appears, and as soon as he sees you, he'll run. So be prepared. Yeah. There he is. See what I mean about just appearing? I always make the approach on foot. It's more challenging, but I feel it's easier on the horse. But you're going to have to use Eagle Eye and track this horse if you want to use this method. He will lead you on a merry chase. No, wait! Okay... But once you finally find him, he's relatively easy to tame. The challenge is in the finding. Easy. Sure.
Stay calm. It's okay. Here is where we found the horse, but here, where we left the gold palomino, is where he actually spawned. I bet you're glad Arthur approached on foot now. Let's get back to the Tennessee Walker and do a side-by-side. -side. Easy, easy! <laughs> That's it, boy. Here, boy. Enjoy. Also, have a pear. You'll eat a lot better with Arthur. Well done. As a breed, I would call the Tennessee Walkers medium-sized, but they look like war horses next to Arabians. And what I wouldn't give for a gold Palomino Arabian. This coat on that horse would be something close to a dream horse for me. Take a minute, boy. Boy. Let's get these horses off the mountain and into some friendlier terrain. Oi. And we just bought all the camp upgrades, so we might as well fast travel to the stables. So convenient now that we can fast travel from camp. Having two horses out is very stressful for me. That is a pretty coat, and always so dirty once you get into the stable. At level 4, the Gold Palomino Tennessee Walker comes in at 6 health and 6 stamina. The Warped Brindle Arabian at level 4 also has 6 health but 8 stamina. If you break down his coat, it's a dark bay with reddish highlights, and then those snow white brindle streaks, it's very distinctive. Also note his tiny diamond blaze in the center of his forehead, I really like that. Well, we have a nice home for the Warped Brindle now. And he looks great with the Trapper Snake saddle. Let's go see what he can do. Everything going good? I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. That queasy feeling you've been having? Think that's cause there's so many O'Driscolls about? I've only got to click my...